we've got half a bag of ground bait mixed up and a couple of pints of maggots. Classic commercial fishery bait. Catch fish on this at any time of the year. It's a blistering hot day. We're at Janssen's Fishery and this place is absolutely rigid with fish. I cannot believe how many fish are in this lake. It is unreal. No matter what bait we're putting in, these fish are like eating it up straight away. Now, feeding, when you're in this sort of situation, needs really careful thinking about because it's all right if we start putting loads and loads of bait in, all we do is attract more and more fish. The baits that we're using now are super attractive and I think that those fish will just go, they'll just go loopy on the bait. You'll end up getting foul hookers, line bites, missing all those opportunities. We, we want to hook those fish in the mouth. So just go through the details. The ground bait I'm using today, the method mix, beautiful versatile ground bait. Ignore the fact it says method mix on the bag. Not only can you use this on a method feeder, you can use it on the pole as well. It's just something that fish absolutely love. Now, I started off using my little grit flex pot on my pole tip. So I was putting my little grit flex pot on my pole tip like that, filling it up with ground bait, capping it off, tapping it into the swim. Problem with that is millions of fish come into the peg. I don't know if you can see across there, if we can manage to zoom in across there. We've got a nice mud cloud across the far bank where we've been feeding our bait. Those fish are lapping up this ground bait, let me tell you. So now we're doing things a little bit differently. You can see we're only fishing very, very shallow. We've plumbed up and we've found maybe 14 inches of water across there. And what we don't want is loads of fish in the swim at any one time. So I picked up the big pot. Just because it's a big pot doesn't mean you need to fill it. It just slows everything down. So I'm literally putting in now, you've got to remember the ground baits we're using now, the full of attractors. So we don't need loads and loads of ground bait, especially when the fish are actively feeding. They're hunting this bait out, don't you worry. So we're just putting in, you know, like an egg cup full of ground bait in our little pot. And we're shipping across and feeding that bait. This is literally just to keep a few fish in the area. That's all we're, all we're trying to do. So we ship across to that far side. Tap in that bait. And now that's fishing for, for us. And that's been, you know, I'm on no illusion, that bait is being wafted around the peg like nobody's business. You can see that the fish are tailing up on it straight away. It's ridiculous how many fish are in there. They're tailing up on that bait straight away. Now, even if I fed a really hard bait like eight mil pellets or a really heavy bait, that's still gonna happen. There's so many fish in here, you know, we're just not gonna get away from the fact that that bait is gonna get wafted all over the peg. So in my opinion, it's better to feed something that's quite attractive, that's gonna keep in an area, and then hopefully, We've got that many fish in the swim that when we go in with just our hook bait, we can hook them effectively. Right, before we ship out, let's just quickly talk through the rig. We've got a little MW, it's a MIDI MW float, really tough, robust float, nice thick bristle, fiberglass stem, never going to let you down. Classic commercial fishery float. The eye is tied in as well, so just gives a little bit of extra strength to the eye. We've got 016 mainline. We've got a little bulk of slot shot. They're number nines, just above our four inch hook length. The hook length's 014, the hook size is 016. The elastic, that's a satin reactor core, probably the equivalent to a 12 or something like that, a 12 or 14 elastic. Something that's nice and forgiving that powers up quite quickly. These fish are averaging, I'd say two pound is the average. So we want something that's gonna give us a chance of landing the fish quickly. Now, in a normal situation, I would love to be fishing that over the top of that ground bait as soon as possible, seeing what's happened, but I'm quite happy to slow everything down because we're not feeding for every fish. You know my thoughts, I love to set a trap, I love to feed for every fish, but in this situation, I just don't think you can. There's too many fish over there. So I'm trying to catch as many fish as possible off of that pot of ground bait. So we'll see if we can catch maybe two or three fish from that little egg cup full of ground bait. We're gonna get quite a few indications. It's just a case of reading the indications and making sure you come back with a fish. Now, there's a lot of fish over there, so 
It's been lower, lower all rigging. We've even had a couple of chub today. Lower all rigging. Any little sharp div on the float, that's what I'm going to strike at. Typically the wind gets up just as we're fishing it. take very long did it and that we had to stop a little bit for the wind now I would have probably a couple of different rigs set up for this situation I'd have my normal rig which is which would be this one then I'd have a, a super heavy rig something that takes a lot of shot and you can really anchor the bait a little carp there because I think keeping the bait still would be very important I also think even though we're not necessarily feeding in a way to to catch shallow I think a little jiggle float could work as well over there so maybe that's something for another day but just armed with these simple baits i just want to show you how easy it is because you know what i've had these maggots left over from the weekend half a bag of ground bait it's, it's a great way of fishing and it's not an expensive way of fishing as well and it shows that these fish absolutely love this ground bait and this sort of bait combination so we're still not feeding we're just relying on that little amount of ground bait that's going to keep those fish in the area and these fish are hunting out your bait so so actively that even though i'm just putting double maggot in amongst that feed they're spotting it the competitiveness amongst these fish is absolutely unreal i mean Don't get me wrong, this isn't the sort of fishing that I would love to do every day, but I think for a change, to get out and get your elastic tug like this, it's unreal. And this is a, a great break from some of the harder venues that I go to when I'm traveling up and down the country. So again, we're still not gonna feed. I think if we can catch three fish off of that amount of feed it'd be great and I know a lot of you guys love fishing this sort of venue so you love active fishing you love going somewhere where there's a lot of fish and putting a big weight together and some some folk might not find this as their their cup of tea but like I say for me I think it's a great way of uh, catching fish like I say not every day but as a bit of a change oh what I've got to do is just just read the bites just put that one then I've got to read the bites a little bit better oh, pull the elastic out <laughs> Now I'm well aware that we could probably catch these fish a little bit shorter. Oh, he's just come off. We could probably catch these fish a little bit shorter and we could probably catch them a little bit faster as well. We could refine this a little bit, but I think as a starting point, this is a brilliant way to, to catch those fish across in that shallow water. And you know what, there's a lot of venues a lot of snake lake type venues where there's a lot of fish feeding in the shallow water across the far bank at this time of year and, <laughs> and it's, it's it's all about managing those fish and managing the amount of feed so what have we fed so far it's unreal isn't it we've caught we've hooked three we've hooked four fish We've landed three of them. I don't know how long we've been fishing. What have we been fishing? Maybe, Maybe ten three minutes. minutes. What have we been fishing? <laughs> Two minutes? Yeah. Another little carp. And we've fi fished and fed the smallest amount of ground bait. So, you know when people talk about using loads and loads of bait in the summer, quite often, you're forcing the fish to feed in an area that they don't want to feed. You can see when we look across there in that shallow water, the fish want to be in that shallow water. 
So if we were to pile bait in, we would cause so many problems. Foul hook fish, line bites, it's great to get fish in your peg, but if they're not ending up in your net, it's a waste of time. And we're fed literally that much ground bait and we've caught a load of fish. So next time you're out in the bank, have a think about it. Get yourself a really super attractive ground bait. Use it in the right way. And hopefully you too will catch loads of fish. Until next time, folks, tight lines.